Hello students, my name is Mrs. Seema Sanjay Pati. Let us study 12 standards revised portion. The subject is English. Now the first topic is Astrologer's Day. The story is taken from R.K. Narayan's very famous story book that is Malhudi Days. Malhudi was an imaginary town in southern state. R.K. Narayan has depicted different characters, the happenings in day-to-day -day life, humorous incidents in their life. This all has made the stories very impressive and feel authentic. Now this is the story of Astrologer. A person who tells us about our future is called as Astrologer. This Astrologer students was sitting at the town hall park which was very very famous marketplace and this astrologer was sitting under the tanning tree he had set up his business and he was waiting for his customers all the necessary equipment he had arranged to attract his customers for example a dozen of cowry shares a square piece of cloth with obscure mystic charts on it the notebook and all other things to attract his customers. His appearance was even attractive. Customers were eager to go to him, eager to know about their future. The appearance of this astrologer was attracting the customers. For example, look at the picture given on page 5. The dark whiskers were streaming down his cheeks. He had put up sacred ash on his forehead and he used to be a saffron colored turban around his head. People were attracted to him like bees are attracted to Delia. Town hall was a remarkable place. People were moving up and down from morning till evening. This marketplace one could see variety of trades and occupations. For example, sellers of stolen hardware and junk. Magicians. Somewhere one could see auctions of cheap clothes. The market was full of people. There was a vendor of fried groundnuts who gave his vest different names every day to attract the customers. Bomb ice cream, for example. The next day he was calling it Delhi Almond. Like this, with different names he was calling his vest and he was trying to attract his customers. It is such a funny view. Amidst all this was there the astrologer. He had set up his business at the heart of the market. This astrologer was searching for his customers, ready to predict about their future. This is, he was continuing his business by the light of the flare which crack and smoke above the ground at heap near, nearby. The place was lit up with chop lights in the evening. The astrologer didn't have his own light. This made him this made some different impression about his business. This suited him very well. Now let me tell you about his past. This fellow had never thought that he would start his business like this. It was all coincidentally happened in his life. He had left his village without any plan. If he was there in a village, he could work on the farm of his forefathers. He was living in the ancestral home. But one day, something happened because of which he had to leave the village suddenly without informing anyone he left. And he crossed a couple of hundred miles. At present, he was sitting at the town hall park with unexpected business. As an astrologer, he had few techniques. He could read the face of the people. He had good knowledge. Long practice had made him perfect. Within five minutes, he could guess the trouble of a particular person. The thing is that students, for 10 minutes continuously before speaking anything, he was allowing his customer to speak first. And he was observing for 10 minutes continuously. And then he could easily speak about his problems since he could guess the problem easily. This all made him very famous very soon. He was accepted by people. 
and people were ready to pay to him. Before he spoke anything, he was allowing the customer to speak 10 minutes and which was helping him to guess his problem. So this is how he was earning and life went smoothly. People believed his every word accepted him as a wise astrologer and provided him enough stuff for a dozen of answers and advices. At the end of the day, he was returning home happy and pleased with days on. So this was part one. Friends, we'll continue in part two. Thank you.